church here at Copper Creek. And before they come, I want to commend them on a job well done. A job well done. Wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you. I thought as uh, Brother Bowling pointed out to me as we was looking around the grounds, uh, been so accommodating, not only to us uh, more mature individuals, but our young folks. What a, what a wonderful thing been set up for them. And I'm so glad to have seen all the young faces, children, on the grounds of the association again. Been a while since we really had a good number of children. And I tell you, it's a blessing. I remember bringing children, and uh, when I was a young parent, I remember my children being here. And I remember my son still talking about them association homes, I believe you call them, Brother Dustin, as those young men were grown up together. And you know, that's something, whether they're here today or, or whether they're not, they'll never forget those times that they were. And it'll mean something as time goes on. So you pray as this church comes to sing. We appreciate you, Copper Creek. The good job you've done. <laughs> theme that we had this year as you've seen on our shirts and everything was the, the hundred year journey that was only a small part of the whole history of the church but it was a journey that over the years if you look throughout the church up there you can see that how we were led by very few men true men of God uh, starting out with Brother Carter and Brother Gardner Brother Echol and Bobby Vermillion as we went on and all of you all knew them. They were all great leaders. And, uh, just like that, the church was set up so many years ago, when the Lord came as a baby from a virgin, He led His life sin free, went through life, and gave His life willingly on the cross so that we would have this privilege, where we would have a, a chance and a and a way that, that we could call on His name and, and, and accept Him in our hearts. And we were talking last night about the association and uh, as you go through the time of the association, it's like that birth of Christ, if you want to use it in that sense. Last year at this time when uh, Copper Creek was awarded the privilege to host this great body, there was great joy. There was great joy right on through the year, the hard work, and the joyful work that we did. It went on through the year, and it's like the season that Brother Terry talked about. It started out as a springtime last year when we got it. It went on through into the summertime, and now into the fall, and we're coming up on the winter of our tenure of association. It's a sad time to end it, but it's also a joyous time because we know starting on Monday morning that it's going to be reborn. Bless you. And uh, the people at Poplar Grove and at Westview, they're going to be reborn in that same joy that they received yesterday that we've had throughout this whole year. Right. And if the Lord will lead us, we're going to cycle right through. We'll have us a glorious time through our union meetings and through our meetings and our fellowship together. And as long as we stand on the principle of God that whosoever will, yeah. whosoever will, will come and take of the water freely. God said that He would in no wise cast us out. Uh, don't listen to the devil's doctrine that's come about that when a child is born, he's either destined for heaven or hell. That's a fatherless thing from what the Bible says because can you imagine going down, as Brother Bernard said the other day, go down here to the funeral home, a small baby, two babies, laying there in a the casket and, and have the unknowing feeling in your heart, did this one go to heaven and this one go to hell? When we know 
that God said the blessing on the little children. Mm -hmm. He talked about it all the way through. Yeah. But let's carry our heads high. Let's love one another. Let's lift each other up. Mm -hmm. And who Amen. God, who God's given this message to, the, the preachers that He's given, let's let God, if He wants to take their gift, let's let Him take it. Mm -hmm. Let's not let man try to take it away because we've got some of the greatest preachers in this organization that I've ever heard anywhere. And we've got some of the greatest deacons and lay members also. Yeah. And we need to pull together and stay together, fight together, and, and lift up the Lord's name together. Yeah. And we desire your prayers this morning. If you know any of these songs, just join right in and help us. I was standing on the banks of the river, looking out over life's troubled sea, when I saw Say hey.